the good news that we have just learned. Rafer, good evening. Yeah. Yeah, good evening, Logan and Hunter. We did just, just find out moments ago that the officer is out of the hospital. The man who police say shot him, Andrew Garcia, appeared in a courtroom today via teams from a hospital bed. Uh, we are not allowed to show his face. The judge did allow cameras into the courtroom. We can show you some video of that courtroom, but saying we cannot show his face, citing medical privacy issues. Again, he's in the hospital because he tried to overdose on fentanyl during that nine-hour standoff. The charges were read to Garcia, and they include premeditated and attempted murder on a peace officer, assault on an officer with a semi-automatic firearm, shooting in an uninhabited or inhabited rather dwelling because the bullets went into a nearby occupied apartment, reckless evading from police, felony possession of a firearm, that ghost gun, and vehicle theft. He did plead not guilty. Bail was denied. Now we're going to show you some video of the scene and give a little bit of a recap. All of this happening Monday morning in Mountain View. San Diego police tried to pull Garcia over in a stolen vehicle just after midnight. He led him on a high-speed chase for about an hour before he arrived at that apartment complex. And then this is the scene that the uh, deputy DA, Clay Biddle, described. Apparently, the suspect got out of the vehicle, ran on foot. Officers were just behind him. That's when the suspect laid, lied and waiting and tried to ambush the officer, shooting the police officer point blank in the chest and then twice in the arm. That bulletproof vest saving the officer's life. Biddle described that particular exchange and also said he's going to work really hard to try to put this guy away. Take a listen. The officers were several seconds behind Mr. Garcia when he bailed out of the car, ran around the apartment building and ran around a corner out of sight. When he disappeared out of sight, he stopped and waited for the pursuing officers to catch up. And as soon as the first victim officer got around that corner, he unloaded with the ghost gun that he had, firing at the officer and hitting him several times and injuring him. How important is it, do you feel, to put this guy away? Well, putting away is one thing, but the, these cases are the most important and the most serious cases that we see in this county. And uh, we take all cases seriously, as you mentioned, but this is... This is certainly one that will get our utmost attention. And Garcia apparently showing no signs of remorse. Bill described that when an officer went to check on Garcia in the hospital, Garcia said to that officer, I wish I had shot you instead. He's looking at 40, up to 43 years or a minimum of 43 years up to life in prison if convicted. The next hearing, there's going to be a readiness conference on December 23rd and then a preliminary hearing on December 28th. We're live downtown. Rafer Weigel, KUSI News. Logan and Hunter, back to you in the studio. Okay, Rafer, thank you.